Well, hello everyone. Hope everybody had a nice Thanksgiving. I spent most of it working on the coop. <laughs> um, as you can see, the body's off the frame again. Um, and since the rear end was out of the frame too, I thought um, I would revisit why that rear support bearing on the drive shaft wasn't fitting. I had been reading on the ham about about that situation and even though it's just another you know foot or so um, without support um, a lot of guys well some of the guys that have done this say that the drive shaft still whips and then it strips out this um, sleeve coupler spline sleeve um, so I thought I'd revisit that so I took the torque tube off and I figured out, you know, originally I thought the drive shaft company messed up and didn't line up the race with the area in the torque tube where it was supposed to be. But they did do it right. Uh, it was my fault. I took the original 39 bearing and slid down in there, but it was all loose. Well, I figured out that the original 39 bearing had a rubber sleeve around it that had rotted away. Um, that's why it wasn't fitting right. So anyway, I found another replacement bearing. Skip Haney here in Florida makes a bearing to replace that. So I sent off a check to him. So hopefully here within a week or two I'll get a new bearing. And then I'll finish that up, put that back together. Then I won't have to worry about that drive shaft whipping. So that's good. I've been doing that. Um, I've been prepping my motor to take to the engine shop to get magna flux and pressure checked and the whole block checked out make sure that's a good block uh, I also picked up a set of 8BA rods so I can run regular insert bearings with those um, that motor came with 29A rods which are full floating bearings the bearings are like twice as much so I have the choice of running either one now you anyway, know I've been doing that um, been raining the last couple of days so couldn't really work on my frame so I took that time and ended up uh, starting rebuilding the 39 transmission so I'll have more on that I, I made videos I made videos of that so I'll have more on that probably in the next video after the frame um, so today yesterday I sand sandblasted the frame and today I want to uh, hopefully get it in primer so anyway enough of me blabbering on let's get to work I got it all air dried and uh, wiped down with a southern polyurethane incorporated water based wax and grease remover. Um, I did get a little bit of flash rust from pressure washing it but uh, nothing that's going to hurt anything. The primer I'm using is southern polyurethane incorporated uh, epoxy primer. It's mixed one to one and you just spray it and uh, stuff's great I love spraying it works good and it's tough
All right, well, there she is with the coat of epoxy on it. Well, I let the epoxy sit overnight, and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some body filler um, to this area here, the frame, because the frame's visible and I want to make it smooth. It's got little rust pits and stuff and then you can also see areas where I filled and, and ground down. So I want to fill that up, make it smooth. I'm just going to do it on the sides and you know the visible areas. There's no need to go everywhere with it. So that's what I'll be doing now. And there's the really thin coat of Bondo. Pretty much see through it. Smooth everything out, get rid of those little rust pits and everything. Should help it look nice and smooth on the sides. Alright, there it is with a coat of epoxy primer over the uh, body filler. And the sides look much better. Got rid of all the pits, my grind marks. So when you're looking at the car, and the body's on top, you see that portion of the frame, plus the open engine compartment here. So you'll see all that. So I thought it'd be better to make it look nice. Anyway, the next video should be uh, color coat. So that's coming up. Thanks for watching.